It is now my great honor to present the Lifetime Achievement Award of the American College of Surgeons. This award is presented to an extraordinary individual for a lifetime of contributions to the art of medicine and surgery and for service to the American College of Surgeons. Not surprisingly, this is only the third time that our college has conferred this award in its 100-year history. In choosing Dr. Thomas R. Russell, the college is not only recognizing the contributions and service to the mission of the college, but it is also recognizing a dedicated leader, a compassionate humanitarian, and a man who touched many lives in ways that left us all better people for knowing him. Dr. Russell spent his youth in California and had the unique experience as a teenager working as a wrangler at a dude ranch, a job that would have a profound influence in his life. After earning his Bachelor's of Arts degree at the University of California at Berkeley and his medical degree from Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska, Tom returned to the Bay Area for his surgical training at the University of California, San Francisco. His training was interrupted by service to the Vietnam, in the Vietnam War from 1968 to 1970, during which he served as Lieutenant Commander and U.S. Navy Flight Surgeon. In 1975, he joined the surgical practice in San Francisco and began what would become 25 years as a practicing colon and rectal surgeon. Tom became a fellow of the college in 1979. He was secretary and later president of the Northern California chapter right here in this city. He was elected to the Board of Governors in 1990 and served in that role until 1993 when he was elected to the Board of Regents. His roles in the American College of Surgeons are too many to name, but included chair of the nominating committee, the member services liaison committee, and the advisory council for colon and rectal surgery. In 1999, the Board of Regents facing unprecedented challenges, asked Tom to take the difficult job of executive director of the college. Our college was in need of thoughtful and compassionate leadership, and Tom was the right person for the job. He had a reputation as a bright, kind, high-energy individual who was willing to weigh all sides of an issue before making a decision. Soon after assuming the position of executive director, he initiated a strategic planning process revealing his innovative and insightful leadership. The college structure was completely reorganized. Education programs were expanded to offer new and innovative courses. He directed the establishment of the ACS Foundation in 2005 to better support ACS scholarship programs. A mission statement, our mission statement, was then developed to guide the work of staff and volunteers alike. The American College of Surgeons is dedicated to improving the care of the surgical patient and to safeguarding standards of care in an optimal and ethical practice environment. These articulately presented ideals continue to guide us. Dr. Russell encouraged the college to take a proactive stance in the politically charged atmosphere of the early 2000s to protect patients' access to quality care. Under his leadership, our presence in Washington grew, and a new building, now in 20F Street, was erected across from the Capitol to house our Division of Advocacy and Health Policy. One of Dr. Russell's most significant accomplishments as ACS Executive Director was bringing the Veteran Affairs National Surgical Quality Improvement Program into the private sector under the college's ages of ACS NISQIP, 
which launched in 2004. Ten years later, more than 600 hospitals have become participants of ACS NISQIP and have used the program's risk-adjusted, evidence-based outcomes data to significantly reduce complications, to limit error and suffering, and to save countless lives and millions of dollars. I count it among one of the greatest blessings of my life that I am able to call Tom a friend. He was insightful. He was generous, personable, compassionate, and above all, he was fair, kind, and honorable. His spirit lives in the lives of his partner and wife, Nona, and his daughters, Katie and Jackie, the three stars of Tom's life. His gentle humor and his enduring optimism <clears throat> always brought out the best in people. His imprint will permanently remain on the college and on the countless lives that he touched while he lived every single day by his enduring motto. Take the stairs, be nice to the janitor, and your patients come first. I would ask now Nona, Jackie, and Katie, his daughters, to join us here on stage. His daughter Jackie will be accepting this award on behalf of the family. Jackie? Thank you. On July 23rd, around 7 p.m., I was sitting next to my dad's bed in our Philo, California cabin when my mom's phone rang. Her phone rang constantly over this past summer as friends and family from all over wanted to call to check in on dad. He would love getting phone calls and catching up with old friends, but as time went on and his illness progressed, he grew weak and speaking became a tremendous effort. So at this point, my mom would kindly answer the phone and say that dad was sleeping and resting and we were doing our best, just hanging in there. But not to this caller. My mom answered the phone, went directly to his bed, woke him up and held the phone to his ear. I was confused at who it could be or what the content of this phone call could possibly be to deserve so much attention and urgency. But I watched him as he answered the phone, he listened, and suddenly he began to cry. Still not privy to this conversation, I looked back to my mom and she said to me, it's Carlos, the college is awarding dad with a lifetime achievement award. I looked back at my dad and tears filled my eyes and I began to cry as well. My tears were bittersweet. Bitter because I knew that the man who I loved so much was ending his life, but sweet because I knew how much this award meant to him. His tears, however, were of pure joy. He must have thanked Dr. Pellegrini hundreds of times during that short conversation. So as they hung up the phone, I grabbed a pen and paper to write down my dad's thoughts. We knew he wouldn't make it to this meeting today. So this is what he asked me to tell you. I want to express to all of my good friends, surgeons and others alike, that it is an honor to be singled out for this award. Roll O'Hanlon and George Sheldon received this award prior, and it is an honor to be included in such a, distinct, a distinguished group of individuals. To be a surgeon is a great honor because we have an amazing privilege to take a person's life in our hands, take them to the OR, and help them when they are in the moment of their greatest vulnerability. I loved my career as a surgeon. It gave me great joy to help patients and work with amazing colleagues. 
The ACS is a wonderful group that is the embodiment of American surgery. I'm very happy to be part of such a valuable organization. Working at the college was the highlight of my career. We had a great working relationship and I have nothing but respect for the staff, whether they were a surgeon or not, and for all of the members. I want everyone to know how thrilled I am to have gotten this honor. It is my honor that I would be singled out. I want to thank all who understand my love and appreciation for what the ACS stands for. It was my privilege to represent the college in various ways throughout my career. I never expected this award. I just did what I thought was right. Not many things bring out such emotion or make me cry, but this gift does. Thank you, everyone. Tell all of my friends, thank you. I thank everyone here on behalf of my dad from the bottom of my heart. And I thank you, Dr. Pellegrini, for that phone call on July 23rd. My dad passed 12 days after you delivered that news, and as confused as his disease may have left him, he knew very well the importance of this award. You gave him a sense of worth and value in his most vulnerable moment of his life, and I thank you for that. I thank the American College of Surgeons for being such an important part of my dad's life and for honoring his professional career. My dad always told my sister and I that if you pick the right career, you never have to work a day in your life. And that's exactly what surgery was for my dad. It was joy. And he loved helping people, whether that was in the OR or in everyday life. And he did it because he thought it was the right thing to do, not because he thought he deserved anything in return. I am very proud of my dad and all of his professional accomplishments, and I feel blessed to be able to call such a wonderful man my father. It is an honor that my family and I can accept this award today on behalf of my dad, Dr. Tom Russell, not only for being an exceptional member of the surgical community, but also for being an extraordinary human being who led by example. We miss him every day. We are proud of him. Thank you all.